Idiomatic Expressions Idiomatic Expressions of English Speakers Idiomatic expression is an informal language, word or phrase that has a figurative meaning different from the literal or exact words in an expression. Here are some examples with meaning and use. Your guess is as good as mine. You say this if someone asks you something and you don't know the answer to the question. Hey John, did you know if we are moving to a new building? Hey Eleanor, your guess is as good as mine. Your guess is as good as mine. Give someone the cold shoulder. It means intentionally disregarding or ignoring someone. I can tell that you are giving Tyler the cold shoulder. He was very mean to me yesterday. I just don't feel like talking to him right now. Give someone the cold shoulder. Go around in circles. Doing a lot but not accomplishing anything. Dad. I don't know if I can finish my project on time. It seems like you've been going around in circles. You change your art project a lot. Go around in circles. A little bird told me. You say this if you shared some information to someone and you don't want to reveal your source. How did you know that our manager is moving to a different department? A little bird told me. A little bird told me. Head over heels. It means madly in love. Kate, I'm head over heels in love with you. I love you too, Marcus. Head over heels. Pull someone's leg. It means to tease or joke with someone. Sure, go ahead. See if you can really beat me. I trained all my life for that. I wish I could beat you. But no, I'm just pulling your leg. Pull someone's leg. Add insult to injury. It means to make a bad situation worse. You are already late for work, and to add insult to injury, you couldn't find your car key. Where did I put my car key? Add insult to injury. It's a piece of cake. It means it's easy. Wow. You are so good at flower arrangement. You did a great job. It's a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. Get a taste of your own medicine. It means you will get treated the way you treated others in a negative way. Jude has been waiting here for hours already. Well, he's always late for his appointment. He is getting a taste of his own medicine. Get a taste of your own medicine. Burn bridges. It means to destroy or ruin a good relationship. Laura is constantly gossiping about her friends. She can't be trusted. That's not good. If they found out, that will definitely burn bridges. She must stop doing that. Burn bridges. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. It means, we will talk about it later when we encounter that problem. Oh no, I messed up my wood project. What if I miss the deadline? Just continue working on it. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. The whole nine yards. It means, all of it or everything available. Wow, look at you. You came in prepared for the baking competition. 
Yeah, I like to take all my baking tools and equipments along with me. My stand mixer, hand mixer and the whole nine yards. It makes me feel confident. The whole nine yards. Break a leg. It means good luck. I'm so excited for the soccer game tomorrow. Hope to see you there. I'll be there. I know you will win. Break a leg. Break a leg. It's not rocket science. It means it's not difficult or it does not require excellent skill. Hey little brother, I don't know if I can do it, it looks complicated. Hey big sis, don't even worry about it. I'll show you how to do it, it's not rocket science. Thanks. You are the best. You are welcome. Talk to you later. It's not rocket science. Right off the bat. It means right from the start, immediately or right away. Can I copy your notes? I think I missed some of the important points. I told you to take notes right off the bat. Otherwise, you will not be able to catch up. It was quite fast. Right off the bat. Hold your horses. It means to tell someone to wait or slow down. Okay, I think it's time to go. Break it over ladies. Hold your horses. I want to finish my great tasting coffee. Hold your horses. Get your act together. It means organize yourself or work in an organized way. I need to submit that report today. But I couldn't find it. It was just here. Alicia, your desk is a mess. You need to get your act together. You looked so stressed. Get your act together. On cloud nine. It means very happy. Look, it's dad. He's on cloud nine. Come on, let's go to dad and hear the good news. On cloud nine. What goes around comes around. It means you will be treated the way you treat others. Did you know that Robert was unfairly treated in the organization? Well, I guess what goes around comes around. We both know he was spreading false information about the organization. What goes around comes around. Water under the bridge. It means something that happened in the past and is no longer important. Really? I can't believe I said that. Well, we were young and careless. I'm sorry. Maybe we should just forget about it. Whatever you said in the past is water under the bridge now. Water under the bridge. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. It means you can offer someone an opportunity, but you cannot force them to accept or take it. I offered my position to Simon. I really want him to take it. He will do great for sure. Do you think Simon likes your position? Well, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink under the weather it means sick i can't go to work today i'm feeling a bit under the weather it's best for you to just stay home call your supervisor and let them know under the weather leave no stone unturned it means to do everything to find something or solve a problem. Clarissa lost her notebook. Her report is due tomorrow. We need to help her find it. Let's start looking in the classroom. Then we will search in the library. Let's leave no stone unturned. 
Leave no stone unturned. A watched pot never boils. It means, seems like it takes much longer time if someone is waiting or anticipating for something to happen or occur. I've been standing here for over 10 minutes already and counting the buses passing by, but my ride isn't here yet. Well, a watched pot never boils. A watched pot never boils. Curiosity killed the cat. It means to warn someone of the danger of asking too many questions. My sister told me to stop asking too many questions about the missing cash. You should listen to your sister. Let them deal with it. Remember that curiosity killed the cat. Curiosity killed the cat. Give someone the benefit of the doubt. It means to believe that someone is saying the truth, even if you are not sure or have doubts. Michael's project is done excellently. He said he did it all by himself. That's awesome. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Give someone the benefit of the doubt. There are other fish in the sea. It means there is something or someone better out there for you. It's over Lindsay. We already broke up. We always fight even about small things. Hey Maria, you'll be fine. There are other fish in the sea. It's not the end of the world. There are other fish in the sea. Let someone off the hook. It means to allow someone to get out of an unpleasant or awkward situation. I believed I messed up. Luckily, my boss said he will deal with it for me. Whoa, you're so lucky to have a boss like him. You're off the hook. Let someone off the hook. The ball is in your court. It means it's your responsibility to handle or it's your decision. What do you think, Josh? Should I accept the offer to end this argument? If that will work for you, then go ahead. The ball is in your court. The ball is in your court. To bell the cat. It means to do a difficult or risky task. I heard it was Matt who gave away that information to the other company. Hmm, if that was true, someone has to bell the cat and tell the top management about it to avoid further damage to our company. To bell the cat. The cream of the crop. It means the best. Hey teacher Melissa, here are the participants in the math competition. Excellent. They are the cream of the crop. Thank you teacher Jacob. The cream of the crop. Throw under the bus. It means to abandon or betray someone for a selfish motive or own advantage. Why did you tell Julia about all your secrets? Now she is telling everyone. I can't believe she can do that. I trusted her. Now she's throwing me under the bus. She wants to get all the attention. Throw under the bus. Don't reinvent the wheel. It means to duplicate something that has already been created by someone and has been proven successful or working well. That was an amazing presentation. The process is straightforward. So easy to follow and very clear. We will use that process. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's suitable for our business model. Don't reinvent the wheel. Bite off more than you can chew. It means to take on responsibilities or tasks that you cannot accomplish. I feel so bad, I could not finish all my tasks on time. Next time, don't bite off more than you can chew. You need to delegate some of your loads. Bite off more than you can chew. Spill the beans.
It means to reveal or disclose a secret information. Do you want to hear the latest news about the new kid in school? Promise me not to spill the beans. Go ahead. Sure, I promise not to tell anyone. Spill the beans. Good things come to those who wait. It means benefits of being patient and persistent. It's okay mom. I believe it's too early for me to deal with things like that. I will wait for the right time. That's right Denise. The perfect time will come, and good things come to those who wait. Good things come to those who wait. Kill two birds with one stone. It means accomplishing two tasks in a single action. Sweetheart, please buy some milk on your way home, after dropping these cute little kids off to school. No worries. I can definitely grab some milk after I drop them off. I will kill two birds with one stone. Kill two birds with one stone. A penny for your thoughts. It's another way of asking what's on your mind, or what are you thinking about? Hey Sandra, a penny for your thoughts? Hey Violet, I was just thinking about the party tomorrow. I am not sure if I want to go. A penny for your thoughts. The grass is greener on the other side. It means to think that someone else's life or situation is better than yours. Samuel, stop worrying about it already. You will be fine. You didn't have it because you don't need it. I just can't stop thinking about it. Why is the grass always greener on the other side? The grass is greener on the other side. A perfect storm. It means an extremely bad situation or complete mess. Our system has been hacked just before the migration to the new program. Seems like a lot of information were stolen. That was a perfect storm. I hope the IT guys will be able to fix the problem soon. A perfect storm. Run into someone. It means to meet or see someone by chance or unexpectedly. I'm so happy running into you today. It's been a while since the last time we saw each other. I'm glad to hear that you are moving back to our school. Our classmates will be surprised. Run into someone. Go back to the drawing board. It means back to the beginning or start over. The secretary handed you the wrong data. You need to prepare a new one with the proper information. I guess I don't have a choice but to go back to the drawing board. Go back to the drawing board. When the cat's away, the mice will play. It means someone's behaving badly or as they please if without supervision. Hey Adam, I hope you can finish this on time. I will be away for the rest of the day. Gary, did you hear that? Hurry, get your work done so we can do something else. When the cat's away, the mice will play. When the cat's away, the mice will play. Don't judge the book by its cover. It means do not judge someone or something by its outward appearance. Wow, you did a great job. I can't believe that a tiny creature like you can do an incredible thing. Thank you. Well, I guess. Don't judge the book by its cover. You are not sure what little girls like me are capable of. Don't judge the book by its cover. You bet. It means absolutely or certainly. Hey Cody, thank you for inviting me over. I'm so happy to meet your family. I hope they will like me. You bet. They are so excited to finally meet you as well. This day is going to be awesome. You bet. Thanks for watching. 
please visit our channel for more videos. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit like. And leave a comment below. Thank you.